Hi everyone, I just wanted to give a quick rundown and uh, the simplest explanation of RNG and RNG manipulation in Earthbound. Because I think this might be helpful for people who are looking for item drops that don't want to grind levels super hard, here's how you do it. So essentially, if you bring up uh, this menu, this will scroll your RNG, which is a select part of the code, which is constantly changing based on every action you do. If you bring up this menu, it scrolls and changes indefinitely, as in it's constantly going up. Now, if you bring up this menu with all of the commands on it, this will bring it up by one. Bringing it up, that's, that's plus one RNG. Coil snakes have a one in 32 chance of dropping an item. Let's see if I got it. I did, I did not. So, what you wanna do is simply bring up the menu, save state. Now, if you move the cursor one time, the string of code for RNG will increase by one. Each time you move the cursor one time here, you are going up by one. Now, there are other things you can do to continue from here, but this is just for simplicity's sake. So, after moving it one time and bringing down the menu, let's see if we can get it now. Nope. So just reload the state, move it again, save, and keep doing this. And there you go. Cookie, that's like a 3% item drop. And that didn't take too much time, that took me like 5 minutes, but I got it. For a 3% item drop though. Now of course, I can't guarantee you that your luck will be good, this still may take quite a while to do it, but it's just a simple way of being able to keep track of it all. Now going into the game corner here, I'm going to show you how it works in battles. It should be noted that if you're doing this to find item drops, item drops are decided before a battle starts. The second you touch an enemy, that is when it's decided if it will drop an item or not. So all RNG manipulation looking to get item drops should be done on the overworld. Once in the battle, that does not matter anymore, even if more enemies are called into battle. So RNG is actually manipulated in pretty much the same way in battle. So if we bash here, Ness lands 24 hits. Charge just missed. Okay, cool. Let's let's go with that one. Now if I try this, he falls down. Got some pretty good RNG there, but for the, for the sake of demonstration, if I were to move my cursor around a few times and then press bash, you can see the attack of, on both ends completely changed. Bring up the goods menu, and then press bash. He actually lands the charge that time. Now this can be used if you're looking to manipulate it in a certain way so that you can get an enemy to use a certain move, or if you're looking to do it in order to, I don't know, do a hypothetical save state's perfect run of the game. Anyways, that's a simple explanation to RNG and RNG manipulation in Earthbound. If you have any other questions, let me know in the comments and I'll answer the best I can. Thanks for watching.